Hey y'all, Rin Caputo with Caputo Brothers Creamery here again. Welcome back. Well, since you clicked on this video, that means that, like most people, you love burrata and want to learn how to make it. So hopefully you've already made your stracciatella because that's the first step. And if you haven't, you need to go back and watch that video. Because you can't make burrata unless you first made the stracciatella. So we have that here. It's going to take a lot more stracciatella than you think, so make sure you have a good amount. Then go through the stretching process just like we have before and get to the baguette shape. So just like we did when we were making the ball of mozzarella, we're going to stop at the baguette shape. Let that heat up just for a minute and then we're going to make our ball of mozzarella. So the great thing about making burrata is it incorporates the two techniques, the ball shape of the mozzarella and the strings that you've made with the stracciatella. So we're going to take the baguette, gently roll that under on one end, making our mass, rest that between our thumb and first finger, make your C, push into that C and let go. When you let go, squeeze that to the tightest fist you can, one finger, and instead of going directly into your cool water, we're going to flip that over. And we're going to pinch right along the outside edge. All I'm doing is this technique right here. And that's making, as you can see, a thin edge right along the outside. And I like to go around twice. We call this the ravioli shape because as you can see, it looks like a ravioli. But the important part is to keep this center nice and meaty. We're going to take that meaty center and put it right on top of that C. And now we're going to take, again, a lot more stracciatella than you would think. Make sure it's nice and doused in all of that cream. And we're going to put that right into the center of the ravioli. Gently push, gently push along the top. If any of the strings get out of the way there, just pull them up and continue to push down. And that's why we have to keep that center nice and meaty, because you can see what I'm doing as I'm pushing here. All of that stracciatella is going down and making a pouch. Once I get all of the stracciatella in, I take those thin edges and bring them up into what I call the lobster claw pinch, just like that upside down into the bowl of hot water and that will seal the burrata closed. And that's your little ball of fresh burrata.